Okay, guys, we do be back with more of this. Um, in the last one, we got to Kakariko Village. Which, isn't Kakariko Village the place where you start off in Ocarina of Time, I want to say? Um, I believe that's where it is. But now it's like the Shika Village, it seems to be. Um, and we're... I want to get another tower done. But I don't know... Which of these towers exactly is going to help me? Like, that's just... Wait, hang on. It's, okay, so it's got to be somewhere in here, then. I can't, yeah, so I want to get another tower done, just because I like having the map filled out. And it, it just helps a lot. I, I talked about it a decent bit in the last episode. But it, it just helps. It just helps to have a map. Um, I don't think I need to explain too much about why that's a thing. I mean, about why it helps, but it does. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, you know, if we ever get to the top of this, because I want to jump off of it. Um, let's go over this way. So then, I can hopefully take a little bit of a respite on it. Uh, ugh! No, I tried to go over, I tried to go over and I failed. I'm a failure, gosh, poopy butts. Oh! At least I'm starting part way up this time. Do 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 boop boo doop boo doop. Okay, so yeah, no, I can just go like this now. Boop. And now I can go like this. No! No, Lunkle! Lunkle butts, no! Crap, okay. Well apparently I can't just do that. I can probably do like the first two jumps. I'm not gonna risk it though. I'm gonna wait till I'm a little bit closer and more confident that I can actually Get the rest of the way up, you know? Okay. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there, buddy. How do I get more stamina? I need to... I really do need to look... Gosh! Okay. This is a little annoying. I really need to look up how to get more stamina, because it's just... Like, obviously, like, the trade-off is... Ha ha ha, it takes 12 and a half years to climb anywhere. But if you jump, you get there faster, but it consumes... Like, um, proportionally, it consumes more stamina then traveling that distance would have required climbing. But it's just annoying that the switch off is takes forever and a half. You know? Like, I don't know. That's not very fun to me, is just slowly just climbing thing. Um, I don't want to use my weapon's durability to just potentially get a rupee or two. Um, ooh, flowers. Don't mind Silent Shroom. Neat. Let me just go ahead and just collect all the Silent Princess. Oh, what is that? Um, can I see this like plateau's shrine around here? Or not shrine tower? I can't. I'm assuming that's like my goal. I feel, I feel like that's a fair assumption, right, guys? Um, so let's go like this, I guess. Um, we're just trying to work our way places. You know, we got places to go, people to see, towers to excavate, essentially. So that's what we're going to do. Kakariko Village. Do, 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 Oh, I have a scary story to tell, and I just got reminded of this because I just got a text. So, for everyone who doesn't know, I live with, with my grandmama, um, and she's been away on a trip. And the other night, I thought she got home, because I just heard somebody just, you know, up, like, I got home super late at night. Like, it was, like, almost 1 a.m. when I got home. Um... And I heard someone, like, upstairs, like, in her room, and, like, I heard, like, her drawers opening and closing and that kind of stuff. Like, it sounded like she was, like, home and unpacking. And I was like, oh, that's cool, but I'm really tired, so I'll say hi to her in the morning. So in the morning, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, hello, lizard. Okay, well, I guess I lost the lizard. Um, so the next morning, I go up to, like, be like, oh, hey, how are you doing? How was your trip? Yada, yada. And then she just wasn't there. And then, so, you know, I peek out, and I'm like... Okay, her car is still here, so she hasn't gone anywhere. Um, so what's the deal 
with this airline food. Um, so then I text her and I'm like, hey, when are you supposed to be getting home? And she's like, not until the 20th. And this happened on the 3rd, 14th. It happened on the 14th, by the by. Um, so, you know, that's always a comforting thing to hear. Oh, I found it. I found the tower. Uh, oop. Okay. This game is just a lot of climbing, huh? That it, It's definitely just a lot of climbing. Do, 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 do. I was trying to climb as high as I go as far high as I could without needing to climb. Um, can I, like... I kind of want to just let go here. Okay. No, gosh darn it. <gasps> oh, shoot. Um, how, what's the best way to do this? I'm trying to get, like, over there as fast as I can. Because I, I should... I didn't see the tower there earlier. I don't know how I didn't, but I just didn't. Um, but yeah, so now that freaked me out quite a lot. But at the same time, that's just kind of unusual here. Like, I'm someone who... I don't know if I'd necessarily believe in ghosts, like spirits of the dead lingering and yeah, that stuff, you know? But I do believe that there's something more that we don't quite understand, some kind of unseen thing that we just don't understand yet, regardless of what that thing may be, you know? Um, just because, especially here, like, that kind of stuff happens just all the time. Like, um, the story I always like to tell the most is... The, one of the times my grandma went on a trip, because she just, she, she goes on a lot of trips. She likes to travel. It's what she does. Um, yoink. Can I, like, collect this stuff? No. Do I have to, like, hit it? I probably have to hit it, huh? Wait. Boosh! No. Okay. Well, whatever. Um... But, like, one of the times she went on a trip, I didn't know she was gone because she just had... She forgot to tell me that she was go even going on a trip or that she was going to leave that day. So, I just hear what sounds like my grandma upstairs all day, just walking about. I hear the TV go on, you know. She's watching TV. That's what... People like television. It's not that unusual for me to hear the television just be on while I'm working. So, I, you know, go about my day just working and stuff, and then I go to my parents' house... And I talk to them, like, yada, yada, yada. And then they just ask me, like, oh, how, like, I don't remember exactly how we got onto the topic, but they basically asked, like, how has it been, like, having the house all to yourself? And I'm like, what do you mean? Grandma's there. She's, I heard her there, like, all day today. And just, they tell me, like, no. They, <sighs> and they tell me, no, she left th this morning. She had a trip. And I was just like, what? But I heard someone home. All, literally all day. And so they go, well, that wasn't grandma. And, like, this type of stuff is so common that, like, they just don't even question it. Like, they're, they're not like, oh, gosh, that's something, like, super concerning. I'm super concerned because I'm partially... I don't know if I necessarily, like... I, again, I believe in some unseen forces that people may or may not believe to be ghosts. Um, But I also kind of think... But there might just be someone who's somehow living in mine and my grandma's house. Because I, the, the amount of things that I just hear of just, it just sounds like people are just, it's, you know, it's like, when you hear the house settle, it's usually just like a big creak sound. But when you hear what just sounds like, doom, 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 of someone walking just back and forth upstairs for like minutes on end like that's not the house settling unless my house is about to collapse and it's been a on the verge of collapsing for basically two years now um i shouldn't be hearing those sounds essentially is what i'm getting at um but yeah it's just stuff like that but before she went on her trip she was here hanging out and my dog goes back and forth between uh here and my parents house every week but my dog was over at my parents house when this ha when the story happened <laughs> And I was over at my parents' house as well. And so she had to text me and be like, hey, was Iris here today? And I had to be like, no, why? And she says, and this was like at night, and she says like, and I was over at my parents' house at this point, just like eating dinner, hanging out, just kind of playing games with them, that kind of stuff, you know? Um, 
And she texted me while I saw what looked like a, the small shape of like a dog just run past upstairs, like run upstairs into the living room. But I thought she wasn't here, that kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, no, she's not here. Whatever you saw, not Iris. That, that's the name of my dog, by the way. Oh, guys, you scared off the horses, you dickheads. Also, these guys are some gangly boys. Oh, my gosh. Um, And then before that, this now, I talk about how I believe that there was, like, someone living in my house because I constantly just hear what sounds like people just walking around in my house constantly when no one else is here. Like, to the point of, like, I'll hear someone and then I'll search the entire house. So it's not like other, like other family members will be here and then leave. No, it's like I hear the sounds. I know for a fact I'm alone because my grandma just walked out and left the house while I was, like, cooking and stuff. And so then I go search the house just, just in case I find anything. Um... But right before she left, something that I think may have been the unseen forces at play. Um, Hatino Tower. That, I didn't realize it quite exploded like that. I just kind of thought that was like, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Breathe. Breathe. But I hear... Like, I'm downstairs working, and I have headphones on that are not necessarily, like, completely 100% soundproof, you know? But, you know, they block out sound pretty well. Like, someone could just walk up behind me, and I wouldn't hear a thing. Hence why whenever I hear any sounds of, like, what sounds like people walking around, it's especially scary. Really? Nothing? Okay. Is because, like, it's loud enough that it can get through my headphones. How do I undo this? What? Did I really want to come all- I just really came all this way for nothing, huh? Can I climb these Yeah, they hurt me. I figured I should try at least. Um... Well, this sucks. What do I do? Okay. Hey, 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 climb, boy, climb, Link. Okay, got this. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so I have those big old headphones on, and I hear a incredibly loud crash. Like, it sounds like someone pushed a bookshelf over, or like something huge just dropped. And I get scared. Because I don't hear, like, any, like, yelling or shouting or, like, anything else after that. It's just one super loud bang. So I'm fully convinced that my grandma just, like, was, like, organizing or something. And she accidentally knocked, like, again, like, a bookshelf over on top of herself. That's how, like, what I'm, like, go what's going through my brain. Oh, shoot. What am I to do here? Was this really all just a waste of time? This was literally just a waste of time, huh? Can I, like, climb up onto this? Well, that... Okay, well, whatever. I'm done here. Okay. I guess either the world will decide to... Wait, is this my goal? Locked mementos. What is this? Wait, what is, what is locked mementos? Is that my next goal? I thought my next goal was near the Kakariko village. I guess I'll go this way. But yeah, so I rush upstairs thinking my grandma's like, D actually for real dying. Um, oh yeah, that is just back towards Kakariko Village. Can I just, I can teleport to Kakariko Village, right? Wait, no, Kakariko Village is up here. What is this? This is a different place entirely, huh? Okay. So I rush upstairs, look around, nothing's there. And so I then run downstairs and I see my like, grandma's car is just not here. So she's not even home to have caused a loud bang. So then I go ahead and grab my swords and just scout the house. Find absolutely nothing. I Nothing was out of place. Nothing was knocked over. Nothing looks like it had just fallen. Nothing. So I'm just saying, like, what the frick? So it's that kind of stuff like, where I'm like, I was joking with my grandma because like most of like the horrible like unseen forces stuff, I'll just call it ghost activity. Most of the ghost activity just happens while she's not even here. So, I just joke with her, like, haha, you're not even gone yet, and it's already started. Yay. 
nearby shrine. Is the shrine in here? No, it's getting weaker, actually. Oh. Okay, so the shrine's just this way. Neat. Uh, is there a path up here that I can use? God, I hate the stamina. The stamina is so annoying. For a game that requires so much traveling, they sure didn't make it as inconvenient as possible, huh? Um, neat. Where am I now? Oh, hello. Hatino Village. Huh? Who are you? I demand answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. Mm hmm? Certainly I do appear to be a Helion like the rest of us. Helions are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. That was racist. You're free to go. We, we're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? All the life of a tra general store and inn, just in the back. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's a shrine here in the village. Okay, yeah, I'll go take care of that. Do 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 do. Actual gameplay instead of just running and wasting time. Woo! Yeah. Again, that's that's honestly like my probably biggest issue with the game so far is just getting places. Isn't necessarily super fun, but it's like a lot of the game, you know. So like that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Examinine. <gasps> Skipanine. Go! Granters of boons. At the far reaches of the continent, there is a being that trades in heart containers and stamina vessels. Okay. Don't know what any of that means, but sure, go off, queen. Oh, let's go up the stairs first. I do love the sound design in this game. I just love, like... The clinking of like my axe and like my feet on these and everything it's very satisfying um oh what can i do with this oh do i need to put my sheikah slate in it oh no what the frick Huh. Okay, so I just need it slightly to go down this way. Okay. There we go. Is there a way I can rotate it to see it a little bit better? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Break this chest. Okay, I guess that doesn't do anything, I guess. Doink. Ooh. No! You've got to be kidding, dude. Okay. Sorry, I just realized I hadn't been saying anything. I'm concentrating very hard. Gosh darn it, this sucks. You guys see what I'm trying to do, right? Like, I'm not just being a madman about this. Okay, okay, well... I better get something good for this one. This one's already annoying. Okay. I say as none of the other ones have been annoying. Don't you freaking dare. Don't you dare, man. Okay. Like, I clearly need to, like, bump it or something. Like, it's not. it's just not going to make it. 
You, you've got to, it's, it's the ang, this is so, an, okay. I thought I was aiming right at it, but I couldn't tell because of, like, the angle on it. This is an episode of not getting a whole lot done. You've got to be sh <laughs> Okay. Uh, wait, can I get it? No, okay, I can't get it over. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... No, please don't. Gosh darn it. No, don't. You, what the fuck? Okay, 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 I'm not having fun this episode. <laughs> I'm really not having any fun this episode. You've gotta be fucking sh Okay, well, I'm done. I'm leaving. I do not care enough. Maybe if the tower had actually been, like, accessible and not a waste of, like... 12 minutes getting there, I would've been a much, much more okay with it. But, uh, yeah, no, we're, uh, we're not dealing with that today, so I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, I don't even know what to do with the hero orbs anyway, they haven't given us anything to use them on yet, so I just don't give a hoot. Hatino Village. It is sort of like, if you have enough bad experiences with any game in a row, it's just like, really does kill your drive to want to play it. Like in Resident Evil 4, loving it. Then I got hit with a boss that took like way too long because it just wasn't fun to fight. Very boring, very poorly designed in my opinion. And that just made me not want to play for like another week essentially. It's that kind of stuff. Oh, can I just like hide up in here? Is there, is there anything of value in here? No. Okay. Neat, I guess. Hello, ladies. What's your pro- oh. Dickheads. I assume that was trying to teach me a mechanic, but I'm uh, failing to see what it would be. Whatever, I guess. Um, what's this place? Fresh milk? Um, no, I'm good. I don't think I really want any foods. I'm sorry. Um, what? Were you saying something to me? What's up? Morning. What great weather. The east wind in general store is open and it's just as lively in there as it is out here. Go take a look. I was literally just in there. Sorry. Open. Oh. Wait, this is just the stuff that was being sold at the other place. At least that one is. What about this one? Warm doublet? Ooh. That's really good. Hold on just a second. Okay, let's see here. Thank you for waiting. That'll be 80 rupees. Yes, please. Thank you for your business. Where where is this person? Oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Every everyday clothes, armors for soldiers. We have an at all Adventist clothing. Did you need something? No. 
Bye. Boy, open the door. Go, 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 go. Um, okay, what's this last shop that we can look at? And then I'll probably go check out, like, the actual notification on the map. It is so weird to me that there is no roll, though. So I can't roll into all these barrels, you know? Um, what even is this place? Hello, child. Oh, gosh, you are hideous. How do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dasha. Where we at? Oh. Okay. That's cool. Although I never want to hear you speak again. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a neat little village. Uh, let's just get back on the road, I guess. What? Nope. I su I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes to town. Right, right. Thought so. Uh, I know many things. Peaceful recently into the I gotta check out to make sure the beauty the any beauty oh beauties. Uh, uh, this is for my buddy's friend. Where's the inn? Is this the inn? Hello! Um, is this Prima? Ah. Yes, good morning. Welcome to Tan Popo Inn. You can have one of our extra soft. Yeah, I'll take a soft bed, sure. Morning. I don't know what morning is compared to where I am right now, but you know, that's fine. Okay. Uh. Okay, that was a sick random event that just happened. Okay. Oh, I got an extra temporary HP. Um. I don't like that the door just closed on me. So, uh, what? I don't know exactly know what I'm supposed to do for you, buddy. Do you know, Prima? Yeah, I know. Taunt. Checking out. Okay. Bye. What? What evs, my dude? Wait, did I complete that? I didn't complete that shrine. Whatever. Do 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 boo boo. I don't think I quite know where exactly this uh, location is at that I'm going. I do like that I don't actually have to climb the tree, though. That's pretty nice. Um, is this like a torch or something? Or a lantern? I uh, not a torch. Yeah, a lantern. I guess. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. You know, I'm trying to see why they gave everyone in Genshin Impact a uh, fat cake to look at while you climb. Hoop. 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 Oh, is that my destination? Who oh, run, Link? Who oh, run? Who oh, run? Run, Link? Run, Link? Run. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is. Nah, I really missed the roll because you get this place is so much faster, probably. Oh no! What is this place? Um, I don't know, but it looks pretty freaking interesting. Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Hello, tiny woman. Good morning. Oh, that's I thought I was expecting an old lady. Good morning. This is Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Yes. The director is in the back. 
A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Is this the director? Good morning. I imagine you've seen so many books in one play. You've never seen so incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature and ancient... Well, hmm. Is that the thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistake. That's a Sheikah site, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could, show me the ruins on it. I'd be most appreciated. Stasis. Magnesis. Ah, yes. The remote bomb and the Kronos. They... Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing, but... There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. Simon? Link, right? You know my name? Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we're told the young man with holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. We will help uh, that we will reawaken in the summer of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen! Miss Director! The, this is the real Sheikah slate. Is, is she the director? I haven't introduced our director. Miss Pira happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Tech Lab Director, Miss Pira is the world's most foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Aww, and she's adorable. Check it! I have the utmost respect for Miss Pira as she's accomplished all, and I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link. So you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to t be telling you things. So she's gonna be like a 400 year old girl? Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snappy snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember the, any of the dreams in the, uh, you, from your time in the restoration chamber? You look like you changed a bit in the last... You don't look like you, but there's something happening in that time. I'm just happy that you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll be able to recover from this. And even though a hundred years ago I took... You to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity again and fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely in the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Um, as expected, after a hundred years of the Slumber... Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Who? Oh, do you have any more questions on me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Well, more perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Hired to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength at every passing moment. And to the rescue of beloved Princess Zelda, that is. You forget if you got the courage to try, and it's only from pure and basic functions of the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. All right then, first I need you to run an errand for me. With that look on your face, you didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. Huh. Post on station, subject displayed by presumption, presumption, presumptuous tendencies, noted. Can I explain this errand detail? You know the furnace on the wall outside the laboratory? You should perhaps bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, also, let's use it to light our furnace. The oh, sweet guidance stone will start working once you do all that, allowing us to restore your missing, missing runes. I wonder if the young women all these days will say things like sweet and little. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Okay, neat. I guess while I'm here, I'll go read her thingamajig. She says, like, what, upstairs? Okay, well, that just takes me outside. Um, oh, there it is, the ladder. Um, where does this ladder lead to? Neat. Well, I wanted to read your diary, because I do, and I I am a sucker for invading other people's privacies, but I guess I can't. Okay. Go. So I guess we'll just, uh... Fly our way back down. I am guess we need the blue flames to get the thorns off the thingamajig. Yeah, that checks out. I definitely wish I had seen it on my way to Impa, but I just hadn't. Also, what the freak is, is that? Tower? The one covered in thorns? I don't think it is. Is it? Is it? I don't know. It's not super duper far away. So how do I collect this? Do I need a torch? Oh gosh, I totally need a torch, huh? Do 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 Well, uh... 
Huh. I'm not super duper sure how to go about this. I mean, I suppose I could just light the village on fire. But, uh... Yeah, no, this definitely isn't tedious at all. So how are you guys today? Lovely weather we're having. I think this might be a pit, the epitome of filler content I've ever seen. Just trying to extend the game time so then the... The funny game critics can't go, oh man, I paid $60 for this game and beat it in 60 hours. That's why that kind of criticism never, like, means a thing. To, like, if someone's, like, criticism of game is, I beat this game in 10 hours. What a ripoff. I'm just like, that literally means nothing to me. You have to explain why that's an issue. Because most games that are longer than that, like, a lot of the games I play are rarely fun beginning to end all the way through. Like, I'm sorry, but this isn't exactly... Th this is just a filler mission. You know what I mean? Like, it's the epitome of it. It's go over there, grab thing, come back. You know? Like, how is that not a filler mission? So it's just like, the only games that, like, don't have stuff like that tend to be shorter, I feel, for the most part. Like, obviously, there are some games that, you know, can manage to have length and actually stuff to be enjoyed. Did any did that torch go out? Why did I not light that one? Um like let's say like something like Kid Icarus Uprising. Nothing feels like fillery in that. Also, wait, why is Why is it still telling me to go down there? Nothing feels fillery in that, and that takes about like 25-ish hours to beat. But then a lot of other like takes like a Spider-Man. I would say the stupid electric puzzles aren't very hard, but you just waste time. Same thing with, like, the Mary Jane stealth sections. They're not fun. They're not hard. They sure do take time, though. Um, Because what would that game be without it? I, I've never actually beaten it, but it wouldn't be, like, a super long game if I it wasn't for the fact that yeah, I liked exploring the world and for those missions. So I'm like, I don't know. It feels like I hate the... Game needs to be X amount hours long for it to be worth it. Whereas, like, I would rather have, like... I'd rather pay $60 for a four-hour game that's a 10 out of 10 than pay 60 bucks for a game that's, like, a 7 out of 6 out of 10 that's, like, 30 hours. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just how I think about it, though. Because, like, there are just things like this that are just kind of feel like time wasters. You know? I don't want to go on too long because this isn't, like, even, like, that bad of a time wasty mission because it only took like what like two three minutes but it's just like i don't know it's hard to not think that way i feel about some things okay i'm done hey you thank you thank you so much now we'll take a look over there the guidance stone must be starting to react there's a mysterious there's nothing mysterious about it there's this is pure science hey my sweet little guidance stone just to make this how to make their old hearts flutter I better sort of seek a slice for runes and give me a nice snap. Go on. Snappy! Nice one. Okay, then. Sheik a slay repair underway. Guidance stone unlocked. Let's do this thing. Dude, freaking Zelda's just... The Legend of Zelda's just so anime, dude. We got lollies. We got waifus. Um, Freaking uh, Ocarina of Time's just a harem anime, essentially. It's just an anime, dude. <gasps> what I get, what I get. Pictures created or saved it. What? Really? Did wait. <laughs> really? I got a thing to take pictures. Oh, wait. Oh, repair complete. It's like a guide thing of, like, things that I've encountered. Probably should have had that from the start of the game. Um, not gonna lie. That just kind of seems to make more sense. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera. Hyrule Compendium Album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. 
Take a picture of me with the camera and don't forget to let me see it. How do I take a picture? Eh. Save. I keep trying to get on our chair with her. Hey, how's the picture taking going? Did you... I took one. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me, let me see it. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Huh? It's just, I, uh, it's just, I, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there's also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent uses of the camera feature, but this, hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you are in prison, which means, you have come to places that pictures were taken. All right, the last memory think proved troublesome. But don't lose hope. It means that you help to restore your lost memory. So my is correct. I suggest you take in with taught, you check in with Impa. She knows more about Zelda than I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing I need from you. Don't worry about this until you see Impa, but I want you to bring back some ancient materials. Bring them to either me or Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Ancient materials will give you something good as a reward. All right, let's do this. Okay. Wait, so... Where's my main quest? Locked mementos. Okay. Um, Robbie's research. Slated for upgrades. Where am I going? That was the wrong way, absolutely. Um, is that the stupid thorn tower? I can't, it didn't look like it had thorns on it, man. Um, is there any way to zoom in more? I can't tell. I can't tell. Do, 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 do. I mean, I feel like the blue flames would make sense as a way to burn it, I guess. But I also don't know. Um, let me go ahead and use just the woodcutter's axe. Sure. Hooey! Hooey! Um. So e. I could probably take that boat somewhere, but I'm just kind of not in the mood to sail. You know, boat controls tend to never be very good. Honestly, most mount kind of controls aren't super great either. Like horse controls in 90% of games just suck. The only time I've been like okay with how a horse controls in a video game is like Ghost of Tsushima, and that's like literally it. Nothing else. Um, like in this game, I wasn't the biggest fan of how the horse controlled. Obviously, it controlled way better than Epona does in uh, Twilight Princess, but like, I don't know. I think game developers just aren't the best at figuring out how to get, like, these things to control super duper well. Also, what the freak are these? They have, like, little punching gloves on them. Okay. Also, I'm not finding any rupees. That's big, sad. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going... Wait, can I just teleport back? Yes, I can. Ah! <gasps> Kakariko Valage! Can I, can I teleport there, please? Travel. <gasps> That's totally why they put a shrine there, so you could just teleport back to it. They're like, we're not going to let you travel, just travel back to a village. You specifically need to have, like, a shrine there. And so they're like, yeah, we'll just put a shrine here. And you know what? Makes sense. Checks out. Um, what's that little sludge thing? Is that a picture taken? I don't remember that symbol being there before. I don't know. Um, Impa, where are you? Where are you? Are you back in your hut? Link is just a huge invader of privacy, I realized. Like, the fact that the people of his world, like, Pokemon trainers, you know, obviously just go to everyone's houses, too. But, like, the fact that people ask straight up just asking, like, this is my private room. Will you please not be here? Hey, Puya, what is that? M Master Link, uh -huh. is there anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help you in any way? What's the ball? Uh -huh. This is a priceless artifact here. Is that what you want to know about? 
This is the Sheikah heirloom that we have long protected. The heroes chosen by the Sheikah heirloom will be gifted the, with the blessing of antiquity. With those words as our guide, we have watched the, over the sacred artifacts since my grandmother's grandmother's time. And even since her grandmother's grandmother's time before that, I cannot say that I entirely know the meaning of these words. But now that I think about it, the hero has the chosen by the Shikai heirloom. Could it be... me? Please don't hesitate to let me know if I can be of service. Uh, the village. We Shika have long served the royal family of Hyrule in secret. During the great calamity of a hundred years ago, the royal family was destroyed and the members of our tribe scattered. Sadly, there are some who swore allegiance to Ganon at that time. They have joined the Yiga clan and seeking out all those who oppose Ganon, cutting them down one after another. Master Link, now that you are awake, you are surely the most formidable opponent standing against them. Oh, you have way too much faith, too much faith in me. No doubt they will come for you, employing whatever underhanded methods they can devise. Oh, but of course, if there's anything I can do for you, all you have to do is ask. The great fairy Kotera. Only a few remain who know this, but this village was built under her watchful eye. The mysterious power of Kotera is that of sacred protection. I suggest you seek her out. The great fairy resides behind the shrine that overlooks this village. That is where you should seek her. You can put your trust in the great fairy. I can't think of any reason she wouldn't be happy to help you, Master Link. I just got a weird notification. It's from some no one, someone named Mary, and it says, you still give your employees, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, I'm not, I don't know where that notification is even from. My phone's in the other room charging, whatever. Master Link, please don't hesitate. Uh, what's your story? You, I, me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you even trying to imply here? You want to know my st story? Well, my name is Paya. The reason I was named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. <laughs> Where is it? Well, it's kinda... Uh, Master Link. I advise you change the subject. I'll answer you some... Oh. I'll answer you someday, just not today. Please don't hesitate. Uh, I want to ask her what's her story again. You, I, me. You want to know my st story? Well, my name is Paya. Uh, Papaya birthmark. Really, though? And, well, in any case... Please don't... Oh, well, that was it. Okay, fair enough. Huh? I heard Para was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Locked mementos complete. Now then, let me see. Oh, oh this is without a doubt the camera the Princess Zelda, that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. It could be that you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I would wish to give you. All right, sick. Um, that's what I'll do. But I'm going to go to the Great Fairy place. I don't know where exactly where the shrine is, but I'm gonna do my best to find it. Hey, no, I don't have any money. Your guys' clothes are super expensive. Um, and I do love that I have that, uh, clothes now to help me out in the cold. I am not wearing it quite yet, but, you know, because it's not very cold, but we'll figure it out. I'm guessing that this is where I need to go for it. Uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. You know, I actually have, like, a Link amiibo. Maybe I should try doing that. I don't know if the, there are ami any amiibo functionality with it. I, I should also probably check out the, uh, try the Xenoblade DLC at some point to see what it's all about. Oh my gosh, this is such a long run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I swear, if this isn't, if this isn't it, I'll be very perturbed. Um, I can't. Boink. What happened? Oh, it's one of these guys. Yeah, yeah you found me. These guys give such hard... <laughs> I was about to say, they give such hard cocoa vibes from Sonic Frontiers. And I forgot that the names were just Koroks. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, buddy. Great fairy, I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. What are you are you here? 
Oh, a drop off. I can fly. Oh, is this not? This is totally not it, right? Is it? What are you? Hello. Shalaka. You. You can see me? I can see you. It's been 100 years since anyone's been able to see me. I'm Hetsu, and I need your help. Those monsters who stole all over, all over those monsters over there stole all my beloved maracas. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a path over there. I still think there are others on the side of the rock. I can use my I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. I will. Maracas are a great instrument. You need them. Hey, buddy. Do 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 do. Do 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 I might just look up the location of the great for uh great fairy shrine just out of curiosity. Oh, you guys have I didn't even realize you guys had spears. Oh, oh, I'm losing so bad. Yeah, do. Oh gosh, my my stuff is not doing too great here. Oh gosh, I died. These guys are tough. What the freak? Okay. Where? Cortera. Cortera, 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 Cortera. Cortera, Cortera, Cortera. Cortera. Shrine. Le Breath of the Wild. I only want to do this one just because it said it's like nearby, so I actually just want to find it. Um. Wait. Oh, Koterra. Okay, found it. Continue, please. Oh, continue, please. Um, it would be easier if I had the map unlocked, but I don't. Um. Okay, so it's... This is Kakariko Village, then it's relatively this way. Let me just go ahead and pin it. It's relatively that way. Let me go ahead and try this. Like, oh, wait. I just realized. I have bombs. Nope. And I missed. Hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. T, 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 T. Time out, time out, time out. Huh, huh, huh. Oh. Ooh. I forgot that you need to click X when you're, like, the jump button to actually, like, backflips and junk. Gosh, I do no damage. Okay, okay. How do I switch who I'm targeting? Ooh. Oh, I, I need a... Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me... Let me... Okay, that way I can actually use my shield. Hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo. Oh, shoot! Ugh. Oh gosh, Link! Get back up, buddy! Oh my gosh, Link, get up! Oh my gosh! He sent me for a freaking ride there, dude! Um... Light. Wait, where are you guys going? Well, that made things a lot easier. Oh, I dropped. Okay, this weapon's really good. Ding, ding, ding. Chink. Okay, let me just heal up really quick. Because I'm pretty sure that the Grey Fairy is where you go to upgrade all your weapons and junk. 
So I guess I'll go talk to the the, the, the the spirit, and then I'll go talk to the great fairy. And then that'll probably be it for the episode, just because uh, it's been going for a little while, so... We'd be okay to end it. Right. Um, oh. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Go! Go fly! Maracas. Oh, Bacoblin Guts. Oh, gosh. Shaka the little of my maracas. Please give them to me. But wait, there's something wrong. Oh, I have one. <gasps> yes, gimme! Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! But wait, sniff, sniff, do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. Give me the Korok seed, I'll get. Yes, please! <laughs> so, which stash? Oh, weapon, easy. That was fun. Only by one. Fair enough. Da 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 da. Oh gosh, that was cute. The fact that she went along with it, that's funny. Sure. Yeah, I'll take another one. Okay. Oh, I don't have to. Well, later. I mean, hey, at least I know you're here now. But uh yeah, let's just get a schmoovin', man. A schmoovin' and a groovin' to the gray fairy. If this is actually the right way to be. Um, I'm sure I can climb this. Okay, I'm very... I'm very scared to try to jump until I get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Okay. Once it turns red, I'll jump again. There we go. There we go. What is this music? I hear something magical. I hear something magical. What is it? I can hear the magic in the air, baby. No, you butt. Recover, recover, recover. No, I didn't mean to click that. Okay. Okay. Okes. Okes. Okay. We're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. Ooh. Okay, it's gotta be here. This looks too important for it to not be, right? Um... Where... Where do I think it is, though, exactly? Um... Bye, Borbs. I probably shouldn't have been doing that to them. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's almost damaged. I mean, it's almost broken, but, like, whatever, I guess. Um... Will you guys leave me alone for, like, two seconds? Okay, so here's the village. And it's kind of, like, around here-ish. Whee! Yeah, I think we're going in the right direction, I hope. I'm just hoping that I can look down and, like, see something that like, actually, like, stands out. Oh, gosh, it's gonna start raining soon. I was really hoping to just look down there and be like, There it is! I found it! 
Um, is this it? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's just a person. What's up, dude? I'll pass. The Yiga clan, it's a powerful, brave group of warriors found a I will take your life. Oh gosh. And not of my blade. Oh, that didn't hit you. Oh, there he is like taking it. Oh, he okay. Um, shield, I was kind of hoping you'd block that a little bit for me, buddy. Eat. Um. Oh, wait. No, where is that going to send me back to? I just want to find the fairy, man. Continue. I shouldn't have gone down on him. Oh, wait, no, not like that. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, shoot, where... I mean, I'm like right at it, I feel. Is, is it just this way? Is it just a little bit this way? Please, no. I'm so confused. I'm confusing to the maximum, man. Granted, this would all be easier if I had a map. But the game said no. So I don't have a map. Like, that's just, it's like right there. Or is my, how do I? Oh, it's like further up here. Shoot, this is annoying. Again, one of those things, if I could just travel faster, it would be so much better. Like if I could just maintain that run right there, 10 times better, but I can't. Um, I don't really know where I'm going. I feel like this is all just a kind of a massive waste of time. Um, I guess if I keep going this way, I'll probably run into it eventually, I guess. Oh gosh, oh gosh, leave me alone. Don't touch me, don't talk to me, don't look at me. I don't want to be near you. Take off. Oh, you, you don't hurt me. I kind of thought it was going to hurt me, not going to lie. Um. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, gosh, where the freak is it, dude? Come on, man. I just, I just wanted to find it. They said it was behind their shrine, but I don't know where their shrine is. And even having a map isn't really helping me all that much. <sighs> um Can I see anything that looks remotely important from up here? No. Not even a little bit. Where is it? The map I'm looking at has it like zoomed out. Like, not quite like that. Hang on. Do, they don't have it zoomed in, do they? It doesn't look like they do, but it's also really hard to tell when I don't have any of these maps pulled up. I mean, I guess it 
could also be like here-ish. This is very annoying to find. Um. All right, whatever. I I'm just gonna look up a video. <laughs> Cause I just I just want to find it. I've spent like how long did I just spend looking for it? Oh, just a little bit of time looking for it. Can you just show me how to get to it? Just show me how to get to it. Don't show me on the map. I don't give a hoot on the map. I didn't even put our name right in. You know. What, what's her name again? <sighs> this is annoying. Kotera. There's no R. That alone is making the, the search way harder. Okay, wait, where did he go? What the freak? This video sucks. He doesn't show how he gets anywhere. What the freak? He's literally just like teleporting around. Um, it looks like he's somewhere with like a clothesline. Ah. Uh. So like, is this where he is? Right here? Okay, this looks to be it. Wait, where is he going? Wait, is this not where he is? Oh, he's like above, is he like above this? What the freak? Hang on. I need to check where he is in relation to the shrine. Okay, the shrine's like right there, so he's just kind of up this path. Okay, we're doing this. We've got this. Um, Is this great content? Not particularly, but at the same time, I don't know. This, again, this is just... Oh, God. <laughs> I love that. That's fun. It's just, I don't know, it's like decisions like that that just kind of make the game, like, not as fun to play. I don't know. Like, does it add a whole lot to have there be rain? Not really. It's just kind of annoying. Rusty Halberd. Oh, I actually have space for it, right. Because now I, I, I want to climb up here, so I just literally got to sit on my... Thumbs until, uh, I guess it's over. Sure, I, I I had a goal in mind, but I guess I won't do it. Is this it? Is this literally it right here? I hate, I hate myself. I'm so stupid. This is it. Boy. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. Sure. I am the great, yep. Yeah, okay, I'm just stupid. See, I wasn't, like, complaining about, like, the the fairy being, like, hidden. I was just complaining about how if you have a destination in mind, it's just a pain to look around. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed and fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees, as a result, my powers has abandoned me. I'm really powerless, so I beg of you, help me with rupees. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my powers can be restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll give you 100 rupees. Here you go. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'll need to censor this, because usually the great fairies in this game are incredibly horny. Ah, oh, the power! It's overflowing! Ah! Uh, 
Um, I can't tell if they're trying to be like, look how hot this lady is. Well, I'm just like, I don't know, she's okay. Like, whatever. Oh, oh, what a feeling. This is the first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I return to my former glory. And they say one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's least I can do, but I'll need the necessary materials. Mm -hmm. What's this? You don't have any clothing that I can enhance? Really? Let's take a look just to be sure. Take a look, sure. Okay. Going already? How unfortunate for me. See you later. Wait, so can I... What? Ah, uh, woo! Uh, welcome back, boy. Do you want me to enhance your clothing? I thought you could enhance my weapons. Okay, well, whatever. I guess... I guess... I guess we're done here for today. Uh, sorry if I was a little too of a grumpy pants in this episode, but in my defense, I don't know. It's just one of those things that, like, I would love to explore this world more, and I'd be a lot more open to it if it just wasn't... If it didn't feel like a chore to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. That's one of the reasons I've always struggled with open world games, is that they just tend to take forever to get anywhere, and it tends to not be fun going places. That's that's one of the reasons, of like, yeah, Sonic Frontiers had some annoying places, uh, things about, like, traveling the world, but at least I could, if I had a goal in mind, I could, like, get to it without spending a whole hour doing it. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one where I will try to be happier. I promise to try. So until then, 